Welcome to my studio and uh, uh, this uh, live stream where I'm going to paint using the technique of Alla Prima. So I hope you will enjoy to see this and uh, here I am to start. So first I'm going to uh, draw some line so they will give me the opportunity to start to divide in the space of the old canvas and start to see how to create this image. So I'm just going to use a, a bigger brush with uh, a little bit burnt sienna. So I can see a line right here, right there. In this case, I'm going to paint a little scenery uh, of a river, really close from where I live, with uh, a bigger tree and some far away trees in the distance. To simplify something that is really complex, visually talking, I always like to uh, introduce the idea, simply dividing the space in a few lines. So as you can see, I'm trying to have in a simple sketch where I can start to see the space, which will be the river, and then the space, which will be trees and the shore, both sides. So now that I establish a little bit the design, I'm going to start to mix a few little simple color, uh, cobalt blue, cadmium red light, yellow ochre, white and already use a little bit of burnt sienna to creating the impression so i'm going to dip the brush on the oil and i'm going to use a little bit blue really transparent so at first i will try to do this painting without using white at all and using the colors transparent so basically will be the medium I mean there will be the pigment mixed with oil as you can see I'm using the oil and the blue and with this light light transparent layers I'm going to block the different part of the paint so here there is water so I'm just going to block this with blue Okay. All right, so that's the space. This space is occupied from the water. So this space represents the water area. Uh, the same way I will do with the sky. So again, I pick a little bit blue with oil and I black a little bit on the sky, same thing. Really transparent. Thank you. 
A little bit more. Okay, so it's really simple. So I'm trying to show you a really, really simplified way to introducing colors in the canvas, in the surface, without creating a too soon and too thick pigment. So everything is really thin, really, really thin. So there's no thick pigment right here. And then uh, here you can see now the sky is uh, covered with the blue. As you can see, I'm not concerned of the quality of the colors yet, because in the same time, so I'm covering with a, 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 a suggestion of blue, which is not the finish painting blue that I'm looking for. And at the same time, the canvas here is dry, here is wet with oil. So in the same time, I pre prepare the surface of the canvas with these thin little layers of oil. So that's the convenience also. So uh, in one step, I'm doing two important things. First, introducing a, a suggested colors. They will have the potential to become more sophisticated with different more brush strokes on top. And the second important thing is that the canvas start to become wet. Okay, so they will make the brush works a little bit easier to do the next brush strokes and at the same time to uh, give the chance to blend the different layers wet on wet that is typical of the alla prima technique. Because I'm not picky with uh, the quality of the tint yet, I'm just going to use uh, a symbolic green. So whatever green I see mixing the cobalt blue with the yellow ochre, I will use it to, to blacken and introduce in the colors. Uh, of course, if I make this green more towards blue, uh, I can uh, simulate, because it's a little bit darker, also the shadow part of the tree. If I make the same green a little bit with more yellow ochre, you can simulate more a brighter green. So let me see if I can create a quick interpretation of this. So here, see a nice darker green. So I'm just going to black all the darker area of the landscape. Then I have the far away tree in the distance. So as you can see, colors, they are not 
beautiful they're just uh, a simple dark interpretation of something that has the potential uh, to become greener uh, something that wants to become a much more beautiful blue from the sky of the sky and also on the water and then same things I'm going to do uh, with this part of the canvas So as you can see, I'm really just to start to create more a blurry, a blurry image, a blurry idea of uh, of uh, this little tree. Uh, I'm sorry, of this little this little river, which is really near from where I live. And uh, okay, let me put it like that. See, I can start to simulate a little bit some uh, shape of tree. Now simply using the same colors, I'm going to use the same colors mixed with white. So I'm going to pick a little bit blue, mix with white, so I create a nice light blue. Now because the canvas is wet, that's why I wet the canvas with it, uh, give an impression of colors. Now with the white, everything will become much more opaque. So when the colors become opaque, not only you can manipulate the tint, the volume, in the same time you are able to cover this previous uh, impression that uh, I done with uh, uh, a thin little wash with oil. So I pick a little bit blue with a little bit white. Okay. Okay, I like to have this a little bit lighter, 
So I'm going to use this instead for the water. Okay. And now I'm going to start to mold directly on the canvas. So now only the pellet, it's uh, an instrument, a tool that give us the chance to pick the colors and pre-mix in a little bit. In the same times when I do a la prima, I also like the idea that the canvas himself is a second pellet, is the final pellet, is the one where I can finally mold and try to create the impression of a, a, a realistic image. So that's why I'm picking the colors from here. But soon I touch the canvas, I have the chance to mixing and manipulating and moving the, the colors. And the same times try to find the look of a realistic image. So as you can see, you can you can carve now also the proportion, the silhouette of everything that was established really quick with uh, with the transparent layers. to do the same things for the landscape. So I'm going to use a, a lighter green. Okay.
need a little bit more colors a little bit more blue a little yellow I put in my palette a few colors a blue a red and a yellow symbolically wants to represent the primary colors it becomes much more fun and interesting to combining and looking forward to creating a chromatic uh, impression on the canvas and then by mixing the three colors plus white you're going to start to open a much more uh, wider range of different tint and different value uh, and also it helps to create a different combination between uh, complementary colors uh, which I always call like neutral scholars. you enjoying to watch this uh, alla prima uh, little painting uh, which I just uh, uh, those red pops very nice next to the thank you Danny what's up how you doing <laughs> I think I'm uh, fine with that I'm happy with that I hope you guys will en uh, enjoy to watch this little painting and uh, <clears throat> and perhaps I will edit this and uh, repost on uh, YouTube. So if you have the chance to watch this little live stream or rewatch it again, but you would like to investigate a little bit more and see some other of my videos, you can check my YouTube channel. Uh, I hope you will do that. I hope you will enjoy to, to see my video. Make sure to be nice with everybody. <laughs> I wish you a beautiful good night and uh, I look forward to the next time. I hope next time I will be easy to connect all my equipment and make this a little bit more flow, a little bit better. All right, everybody. Good night. Happy weekend. Ciao.